welcome to Kate's Egg. I just drove the pickup truck to the shop and I will be heading out to the field soon. Today is our first official day of harvest, which is so exciting. Um, there's a, uh, oh, uh, you don't have that work. Oh, you do. I got you doing it. Is it in that bag, Kate? Is it around thing? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that thing was higher here, but is it in there? More? Well, I they, put it. they are in high enough. Okay, put it up in. Darcy has to push in too. Yeah. Do you need now I'm taking Darcy to the schoolhouse and we're going to go out to the field. I just dropped Darcy off of his truck and I see the cutest bunny right there. Aw, so adorable. Aww. There my dad is in the combine pulling onto the road. The window's really dirty, so it's tough to see. Some antelope in the field. I just made it out to the field and put my stuff in the combine. Dad's going to go to his combine and pick up the last bit of my row because my dad's combine filled up and I had to move to a diff his row, so therefore I left my row. Do you want me to start my combine? Okay. So this is an overview of two of the combines. This one with duels is my dad. They're both 9870 STSs. I'm not really sure what the STS part means, but that's what they are. This is called a header, and you can detach them and put on different types, so you can cut different crops or different ways. And then there my dad goes. I'm now going to get in the combine and start it up. They need time to warm up because they're such big machines. You may have noticed that I am wearing a shirt with my Kate's Egg logo on it. Yes, I'm officially launching shirts, which is so exciting, but they're not an ordinary or typical shirt, which was so important to me. The cotton of these shirts is grown and sewn in the USA. It is so crucial to know who you're supporting so you can actually track where this shirt was grown and produced so you know the farmer and all of the people involved in making this shirt it looks like darcy took a ride in the combine with dad so maybe darcy's going to run the combine let's go see what's going on so darcy's running combine today which is really exciting i also have my kate's egg tote bag here in the cab and another kate's egg tote bag I usually always have about two with me at any given time. I am now going to rev my combine up, put the steering wheel down, raise the header, and go and dump in Steve Wall's truck. If you have watched my videos for a while, you'd probably recognize Steve Wall from actually a couple of my trucking videos. And his wife, Lily, owns Lily Bean Coffee Shop in Dutton, Montana, and we absolutely love it. She's actually making our lunches and dinners for harvest time, so we're so fortunate to have her on our harvest team. Dad is dumping in the truck right now. These shirts are also very, very comfortable, and the cotton is beautiful. So I'm going to pull up a little bit closer behind my dad so I can put my auger out eventually. It is tough lining up with trucks, and it's a lot harder than with the grain cart, so for the first dump of the year in the truck is a little more challenging. My dad's just finishing up, so I'll pull up in a second. Does my auger clear the top of the truck? Darcy, do you have a copy? I don't know if this is gonna clear or not, but we'll go with the fact that maybe it will clear. Like there? Here? Okay. Um, so, Steve Wall just gave me the A-OK -okay to start dumping in this part of the truck. It started to fill up in that area, so I'm hoping I don't have to move any further than right here. So I just moved up a little bit more to the second column, and I'm hoping this works out. I can't hear you. Are you can, do you have a copy? Can you hear me? Gosh, that was an experience. I can't. My dad's trying to radio me. His combine isn't set up with these radios, so he has a different type. I can't hear you at all. At all. Do you, can you hear me? That always sucks when you can't communicate on the radio. Oh, I think lunch is here. 
Maybe that's what my dad was trying to say, so I'll just follow him. We haven't even started and we're already taking lunch. So I'm gonna pull up to this side of my dad because I want a close, to be close proximity to lunch as well. Now I'm gonna just cool down my combine. It hasn't been running for very long, so it doesn't need to cool down for that long of a time. It's mostly been an idle. Dad, do you have a coffee? Hi, Steve. Good, thank you. How are you? I'm now here with Steve Wall at lunch, which is very exciting. And you ha may have seen him in some trucking videos because you took me for a ride in your truck. And then also your wife, Lily, has the most incredible coffee shop. Yeah, she does. It's a good coffee shop. Yes. Well, thank you for helping us with, yes, and hot chocolate, yeah, as my dad yeah. says. And sandwiches and pies. And a little bit of everything. The donuts. most delicious sandwiches. The yeah. avocado one with turkey is incredible. Yeah, she's a good cook, so yes. a good coffee maker. So that's very exciting. And she's helping us with lunch as well and dinner. So that's super awesome. Yeah, that's great. Thank she appreciates you. it. Thank you for helping us with harvest, Steve. You're welcome. I'm picking up my combine header now. So while I was at lunch, I was telling my dad that my radio wasn't working. Or Don't forget to idle it down when you put it in, okay? I won't, thank you. So at lunch, I was telling my dad about how his radio isn't working. And Darcy said, well, I heard him just fine. And everyone else heard my dad just fine. So then Steve Wall said, well, Kate, is your radio on? And I thought, oh my goodness, my radio's not on. I couldn't believe it. Never in a million years did I think it was my radio that wasn't working. So now dad's in the 9870 STS with duals. I'm in the 9870 STS with just one wheel on each side. Well, they have two wheels, but just one big front wheel. And then um, Darcy is in the, I believe it's 9670. So I'm gonna idle it down, put the back in, put the front in, idle it up. I'm in second gear, so I'm good. good place my combine header down and I am going. I'll slow down a little bit. I'll probably go 3.4, 3.5. This is a really awful crop, but we want to make sure we maximize the amount of wheat we get from this swath. Normally I would just speed through a swath like this, but this is all of our wheat, so you have to go slower. Hardly coming in at all, which is sad. Oh my goodness, a bird! Aww! That's adorable. My Kate egg tote bag here is so dirty, but I just think it looks better the dirtier it is because it's a very useful tote bag. I'm very excited for harvest, and I hope you're excited to watch my family's harvest as well. So 2022 harvest has officially begun on the Stevens Montana farm. Got a little bit of a late start today. Didn't officially start cutting until after lunch. It's not really cutting, we're just picking up wheat right now. So I guess didn't officially start harvesting, but as long as you get started, we're good to go. I know a lot of our neighbors aren't even in the field yet. We didn't actually think that our wheat would be ready, but it is, so we're happy about that. I'm gonna look in my grain tank to make sure the wheat's fairly clean, and it does look clean. It's measuring about eight bushels an acre for me which is almost non-existent because a typical crop for us would be around average. So not even that great would be 60 bushels, 65 bushels. Um, a really good crop would be around 70, 75. A really bumper crop would be probably 80 to 90 to even maybe 100 bushels per acre. Um, so nine is not even covering our costs, what we put into the crop, not including labor and all of the other costs you have to endure to be able to harvest the crop. This is my fourth harvest driving combine. My first harvest, I was 15 years old and my grandfather asked me if I would be willing to run combine and I fell in love with it and I haven't stopped since. In my second harvest, I started making YouTube videos and filming my experience because I had such a wonderful time on combine, I wanted to explain to everyone I met about what I was doing and I realized even in Montana, such a large agricultural state, not many people knew how their food got to their table or much about the process it takes to get it there. So I wanted to make a difference and I thought making videos and, and showing what I do and love would be the best way to do that. It's a little bit better here, it's nine to 10 bushels per acre, which is a sad thought, but it'll be okay. We'll get through this year and we'll hopefully get some rain. My dad's stopping and raising his header and backing up to see how well his combine is picking up the wheat. And it looks like it's picking it up pretty good. 
So I'll drop my header back on the ground. Darcy actually used to run combine, but it's been a very long time. He's usually our truck driver. I never thought I'd see a harvest where Darcy ran combine. So I'm just going to slow down a little bit so my dad has time to make his corner and start his next pass. We have 160 acres here and then 160 acres here as well. So this is a 320, but my uncle swapped it in two sections so that we only need one pass to fill up and we can dump in the truck. We're going to go about halfway down this path to about the second green spot and then you've got to go north because he cut this field in two pieces. Three rounds around the outside, so I'm going to take the outside round. Did you hear me, Kate? Yes, I heard you. I'm just processing. I'll tell you when your row ends. It ends at the second green spot in front of you is where it ends. So you can already see it. It's weird to think that this is my fourth harvest already. It feels like I'm still new to this, but yet I know how to operate the combine and it comes natural, so. This is really weird, actually. Oh my goodness, two antelope in the field. Oh, they just ran away. My dad's combine's getting close to them, though. Where your row ends, Kate, is uh, that one in front of you is the one you take up. Because the long one is the down one. The one directly in front of me? Well, when your row ends, the one directly in front of you is yours, or to the right. Not the long one with the long tail. That's when it comes down the other side. What direction do I need to be heading, taking this row? Well, I can't see you, but when your row ends, that thing right there is the one you want to be on. Following behind you, correct? Not behind me. Don't follow me. Go to the right. You have to go to the other end of the field. So I will be heading south? Correct. Okay, this makes sense. Thank you. I wasn't understanding where to go. Now I understand. Yeah, that other row in front of me was the wrong way. So Darcy is west of me and my dad's east of me. And I'm headed this way. I just finished my row headed south, so now I'm going to dump in Steve's truck, head to the west side of the field, take a row headed north, and hopefully be able to line up to this truck. And it looks like I'm getting pretty close to empty, so hopefully I won't have to move. I wonder if I'm loading from the wrong side. Are you only supposed to load the truck from one side? Did I mess this up? Well, try and get it centered, you know what I mean? No, it's centered, but I'm on the right side, and last time I was on the left side. So now I'm heading back over to my wheat pass. It looks like I have one up here, a half row. So I'm going to drive up to it. My dad had one more row all the way around the field because we only had two combines in the field last time, and our swather does three all the way around and then the rest in sections. So because we didn't have that third combine, my dad had to take it today. So I idled the machine down, put the back in first, then put the header in. Then I rev it up, put my header down. It's usually a continuous motion. As you go forward, you put your header down. Um, you put your header down first, though, if you're just new to everything, because it all seems like it's coming at you fast. Although once you've had a little bit of experience, you realize it is simple. So now I'm just continuing picking up the swaths wheat and working on getting this field done. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about how your food gets to your table and the process it takes to get it there. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can visit Kate's Egg Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G and on Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest as well as the Kate's Egg website, katesag.com, and purchase a Kate's Egg grown and sewn in the USA shirt and a Kate's Egg tote bag also made in the USA. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!